Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Milashe. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a makeup video of this look. Guys, I'm really obsessed with how this turned out. So if you want to see how I did it, how I, um, I used everything that I used, all the products I've used are very cheap and all under 50 rand and some are even from China more. So... Please do watch and find out how to achieve your full glam makeup under a budget, like a very, very, very cheap budget. So, yeah, that's it. Like, you don't need to have like um, expensive makeup to get your full awesome look. So, this is a box for all the things I'm gonna use. These are old stuff, very cheap. Uh, products that I have in this box also very old as you can see some of them are like damagedly stained and yeah so I'm going to be um, blending this concealer from China more that I used for these eyebrows I'm just trying to blend it out so that when I come in with the eyeshadow concealer it doesn't crease so this is the eyeshadow concealer i used on this video for this makeup it's from china mall as well i think it's a fake one for that other brand that has the same concealer uh yeah so i am going to be applying this on my eyes very harshly because i'm trying to have it like completely thick and I want it to stay because I want the eyeshadow to pop and show when I am applying it on top of the concealer so I'm gonna be doing it very gently because I don't want it to die out or anything also these uh, sponges are from China Mall, I think or from somewhere somewhere in the streets yeah these sponges are also old they came as a pack I'm just only left with two now which is the one I'm using here and the other red one that I will be using later I think yeah guys even with your like proper makeup uh, that you get from your relevant stores I think you have to blend this thing gently so that it doesn't crease out or give you bad vibes when you're applying your shadow like it's a method that you must use honestly I think we're good now okay so this is the eyeshadow I am going to be using as a transitioning for my cut crease right so I'm using this brown because this brown always comes through for, like always comes through for me when I am using a uh, cut crease or when I whenever I decide to do a cut crease makeup I use this brown and I always make it darker on the middle section of my eyes and then go up and make it lighter as you guys will see like as the video goes on so i always have it a bit dark yeah i don't necessarily focus on the lower part of my eye because there i am going to be putting the cut crease and um the liquid eyeliner so it's not really necessary but if you want to
so now after blending out all that eyeshadow for my transitioning now i'm gonna go in with this concealer i'm trying to focus this thing it won't work i don't know how you guys do this thing honestly i'm still gonna master it so i'm cutting the crease with the same uh concealer that i was using as a base for my eyeshadow yeah i'm gonna cut this crease see i started very small but i decided initially to go extra okay because i wanted my eyeliner to pop when i put it so i decided to go extra like this was my initial goal but then i kept going up and up and up and up <laughs> until i had like the biggest cut crease in this whole world honestly so yeah that's the cut crease and basically you just try and have a perfect shape so that when you apply apply the color that you want on top of this it doesn't come out like a momish type of thing so yeah with the cut crease you kind of trying to avoid to go very far with the bottom part of the cut crease because then it looks like you just apply eyeshadow literally everywhere because you're still gonna have to like try and blend in all these uh thingy cut crease and transitioning things all together transitioning um eyeshadow all together i think i was singing or something yeah i was singing and yeah, this thing those airports were tripping because they kept coming out and I wanted to listen to music so bad. Sometimes they do that, sometimes they stick. Honestly, I don't know, maybe it's just my ears. So yes, gal, cut that crease as big as you want. Just make sure it's proper, especially on the sides. Like there on the sides, just make sure it's really proper because you want your eyeshadow to sit nicely. I kept zooming in because I felt I was very far from the camera. And for this for this cut crease near guys, I, I do advise that you go in with a very white if you want it to pop pop pop. This is not very white, like a very white concealer like your your tattoo hiding concealers i know one from essence actually they have one that i have uh from essence but it's quite expensive but also like it really works but this came out fine honestly like i wasn't expecting it to to come out this great especially because the cut crease was very big but it actually came out very fine about a cut press it will take your time honestly you have to be very patient because if you don't do it right once you might as well just wipe away the whole thing honestly because 
it will work again honestly so now i'm gonna go in with um the eyeshadows that I want to mix for the cut crease so I'm going to be mixing like a whole lot of nudes because I want my cut crease to look nude I'm not going for a very bright cut crease because already I have a very dark um... okay it's, that's not an excuse actually but I just like it this way for this look that I'm thinking in my mind so yeah, so now I'm going to be applying this eyeshadow all over the place that I cut my crease. Just make sure it's it's sticking in and popping out. So it's going to take time though, but but the end result is going to be very nice, honestly. Also, you have to be very careful like not to overstep where you put your your concealer as your cut crease. So you have to you see like I'm going in very gently because I want it to be within the line, not beyond the line because now it does not serve the purpose of a cut crease hey i honestly thought this voiceover thing was going to be so simple but like uh i'm having such a hard time honestly because my voice i don't know but let's just continue yes it's coming right it's giving confidence honestly and it's so big guys I don't remember the last time I did a cut crease this big, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with cut creases that are this, like this big like, from now on, honestly, because they really pop. <laughs> they really pop. Since I'm so obsessed with that liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna be going with these. So now I'm going to be going in with the same brown I used underneath. I'm going to be blending it in with the cut crease so that it doesn't look so sharp on the sides. So I'm blending it in on the sides basically. Uh, just all over around actually I'm going to be blending it in. So that it looks... Uh, like togetherness man yeah yeah as much as you want a cut crease but you also just don't want things standing on their own so it's better to just blend 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 the whole time now it looks like i have big eyes wow and I don't even have that part of the eye that people usually have for the cut crease. And look how well it came out. I'm so impressed, honestly. I am honestly so impressed. Okay, so basically now I'm doing the sides uh, to also blend in with um, the brown that I'm using. But if you look closely, this brown is not the same brown I used for the upper section of my eye. This is a bit darker because uh, I want it to mix very well on the sides. I want it to mix very well. Later, I think I'll be going in with a black. Preferably not, but I I always end up doing it. So it's just going in and in and in and in until I feel satisfied with the blending. So now I am using black eyeshadow to basically like blend into the cut crease 
I'm going to be doing this with this black and brown because I don't want it to be too black nor either too brown. But also I want the black to be there. I'm going to blend into my cut crease because it depends how big you want it. If you want it like super big, you can just stick to blending uh, on the outer part of your cut crease. If you want it to be quite small, you can go in, in, in into the inner part of your eye and just leave a little space so that you have you still have your cut crease. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah, that's that. You see, like I'm really going in because I don't think I want it like that big, but also I don't want it like small. So I'm going in with this. Uh, black and brown also I feel like this palette is weak because like that's a black guys or maybe my angers but I feel like this palette is weak yeah I feel like this palette is weak but also I don't want like a very dark and harsh um black in my eye I remember when I did this look I I preferred my cut crease to stand out than my transitionings on the sides <laughs> we come to the big dog the wing line honestly for me this is very simple when i do it to other people than myself that's just me but tell me like how do you prefer it like do you prefer to do it on yourself or to other people because for me it's very simple when i'm applying it on someone else than it is with me because now i have to have angles and stuff hey uh -uh, son. but this is the wing line i'm using a liquid eyeliner I also bought this way in a Chinese store. Yeah, in a Chinese store, I think in East London or something. Yeah, I bought this in a Chinese store in East London. It's called Fantasy. So many people from there know it. They sell like a lot of great things. So that's why I bought this wing eyeliner. And it's very strong, very high pigmented. I love it. I love it. So you're trying, you're trying to get your your best look, right, with this wing eyeliner, because it's gonna give you the pop. So when it comes to the inner part of your eye, you want to have it not so harshly big and too showy, if I'm making any sense. And then as you move out, you will definitely want to. Have it showing and big, big enough uh, as much as you want it. That's what I mean. As much as you want it to be extra. And then when it comes to that part, the wing, the end of the wing must be very small because that's why it's called a wing eyeliner. Or a wing um, line. See, like I'm really trying to have it small, but it keeps going. Like it's very skew at some point. But don't worry. Like you can go in with concealer when you're done. Like only beneath and not on top, because that's the only part you can mess with. Beneath, like beneath uh, the wing, not on top of the wing. Because on top of the wing, I've got my eyeshadow. <laughs> going to apply foundation I'm using this brush 
because it kind of helps me put it in the most parts where I actually need it. And then I'm using this foundation. This is this is Maybelline foundation. The one for 60 something right? I think it's Fit Me, yeah. The Fit Me foundation. As you guys saw on the previous clip. It is my shade, but it's also very light. So I mix it with this uh, Wet n Wild foundation. I think it's in the color Manco. Something like that. Manco or Mancho. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it, it oxidizes. It's a bit orange, but it's full coverage. It goes well with this foundation that I'm using because the Fit Me foundation it is not really full coverage. It kind of like dies out in the long run. Or even if you like blend a lot, which I will have to do because I basically use a brush and a blender. So this Wet n Wild helps. <laughs> Found the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah, yeah 
too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah. The ones we keep close, we should never let go.